Hello candidates. Uh, welcome to yet another lesson. And as you are aware, we are continuing with our topic of the people of Africa. So, so far we have looked at the Bantu, we have given their gradual land, reasons why they moved to tribes and where they settled, and reasons why they had to settle in such areas. Then we also looked at the, the, the nine lots, and we say nine lots are subdivided into three. We looked at the plain nine lots. Why are they called the plain nine lots? We said they settled in plain areas where they could get pasture, because these were basically pastoral groups. Then we also looked at the river lake nine lots. We say these are people who migrated from Bar el Gazelle in South Sudan and settled first in Bungu in Uganda before they separate to other parts of East Africa due to the misunderstanding between Jipiri and Labon, who were the two sons of Urum. Then we also talked of the Highland Nilos and we gave an example of the Sabine. We said the Sabine fall under the Highland Nilos. Why? They settled in Highland areas. And when you look at the Plain Nilos, the Highland Nilos had their origin from Ethiopia. Now today we are going to look at the Kushites. So today our, our focus is, is on the Kushites. Now the Kushites can also be called the Hamites. So if they ask you to give another name to the Kushites, they are the Hamites. Now these Hamites are believed to have originated from the whole of Africa. Horn of Africa. Now, when we talk of the Horn of Africa, we are looking at countries like Somalia, countries like Ethiopia, countries like Djibouti, countries like Eritrea. So these people are specifically believed to have come. But even from Ethiopia, these people are believed to have come close from Asia and settled into the Horn of Africa before they spread to other parts of Africa. For instance, in Uganda, when we talk of the Bahima, now, I know at times it is very difficult to differentiate between a Muhima and a Munyankore. These people speak the same language, but fall under different ethnic groups. Then you can also look at the Tusi. I told you yesterday, the Tusi and the Kutu speak the same language. They live in Rwanda and Burundi, but fall under different ethnic groups. The Tusi are Hamites or Kushites, whereas the Kutu are Bantu. Then we also talk of the Boran. So the Boran is another tribe in Kenya that falls under the Kushites. So we have the Boran and then we also talk of the Gala. So at times they compare, they can compare the Bahima the Quran the two see in terms of ethnicity. So one thing you should know that these people fall under the same ethnic group. Then in Kenya also we have got a tribe called the Somali. The Somali also fall under the Hamites. Then in Tanzania, for instance, we have the Bambuni. So we have the ba the Bambuni. This is in TZ. So these are tribes to control that fall under the ethnic group in Africa, for instance. So they have their origin from the whole of Africa. They can be called Kushites or Hamites, and we have given example. Now, their major occupation basically was pastoralism. Much as today, some of them have changed to mixed farming. So, some of them have changed to mixed farming that they grow crops. At the same time, rare animals. But basically, from their origin, they were basically cattle keepers. When, for instance, you talk of the Bahima, who are times called the Balalo in Uganda, they are basically cattle keepers. But when you go to, for instance, in Rwanda, the Tusis are now mixed farmers. They grow crops. At the same time, they have kept with their original economic activity, which is cattle keeping. So that's about the Kushites. Now let's also look at the Samites. We talked, we also have another group. 
And we say this group has mixed blood of the Arabs, Africans, and the Jews. So we say this is a, this is a group of people with mixed blood. Blood of the Arabs. We talk of the Jews from Asia and the Africans. So you find many of these people in the whole of Africa and countries like Sudan. For instance, when we talk of the Nubians, we have them in Uganda. In Uganda. The Nubians group. If you, for instance, go towards Bongo, you will get this tribe there called the Nubians. Then, when we talk of the Hausas of Nigeria, we have a tribe called the Hausas. This was found in Nigeria. Those of that, remember, there was a lot of trade that took place in West Africa, when we talk of the Trans-Saharan trade, that trade that was between the Arabs of the North and the people of West Africa. So you find that many got intermarried with the African people in West Africa. Then we, that's the house. So those are examples you can give. And basically, these are also pastoralists. So their economic activity is basically pastoralism, keeping of cattle. Then, let's also look at the religion made the practice by these people. You, you find that because we are talking of the aspect of Arabs, you find that many of these people are Muslims. So, the religion is Islam. Many of them practice Islam as their religion because of that blood of the Arabs. Uh, then, we are also now going to move southern part of Africa. We are moving to the southern part of Africa. So, let's clean the first part here. And then we move to the southern part of Africa. Now, in the southern part of Africa, we are basically going to look at the coincidence. So, in my introduction, I said the Khoisans were the original people who lived in the southern part of Africa. Remember, before the migration of other groups like the Bantu who moved to South Africa, to southern part of Africa, already we had the Khoisans. Now, under the Khoisans, we have tribes like the Khoikhoi. You have tribes like the Khoikhoi and the sun. Now this sun are the ones who are regarded as the bushmen. The sun are regarded as the bushmen. And these are the people who made a live in the Kalahari Desert in Botswana. So these people were the first. So by the time the Arabs went there, they were being mis they were being displaced and they decided to move to the, the northern part. Again, if you look at the story of the Great Trade, the story of the Great Trade, whereby when the, the Dutch people settled in this area, the people they met there were the Coensans. Now, because the Dutch people wanted fertile land for the growing of crops, especially sugarcane, the Coensans decided to move northwards. And many of them, as I said, they settled in the Kalahari Desert. So, one of the effects or oh, one of the groups of people that made the Khoisan to move from southern part of Africa was the effect of the Great Plague, which was caused by the, the Dutch settlers. If you can remember back the, about the Great Plague, where we say this was the massive movement of the Dutch from the Cape Colony of South Africa northwards. And their movement, they displaced groups of people like the, the Khoisan. That was one of the effects of these people. Now, what was their main occupation? These are pastoral groups of people. They are also, so their occupation was pastoralism, that is uh, keeping cattle in a local way. So you find also, because these are mainly people who live by 
hunting. So apart from pastoralism, they also live by hunting. Remember when we talk of an economic activity, we still have tribes in Africa that live by hunting, especially those tribes that live in areas of the forest, areas that have good bushes, they live by hunting. Also, they live by gathering fruits. They live by gathering fruits. That's how they live. You, you can see here that there was no aspect of farming cultivation. Mainly for them, there were people who carry. In fact, if you go to the southern part of Africa, around the Kalahari Desert, this is someone regarded as the bushmen also keep sheep with fat tails. Some of you have seen sheep live about the merino sheep. The merino sheep, what we get mainly is we get wool from them. Now, how are these people political organized? I need a question. These people live in camps. They live in camps. If you can re record yourself, those who have ever watched that movie of God must be crazy, you would see that these people live in groups of camps. Just some of them, when the camps became bigger, they changed they change, they change them to villages. And that's how they did not have kingdoms or chiefdoms. They just lived in camps whereby elders became the leaders. Now, currently, if they ask you where we get the coincidence, I said the Koikoi and the Sun are tribes under the coincidence. Where do you get them today? Currently, you will get them in the Kalahari Desert. Now, their population is reducing in size. Why? They are getting intermarried with the other tribes. Just as when we talk of the Tua. Remember, we talked of the Tua. This is a tribe that lives in Rwanda and Burundi. This tribe. The original people who lived there before the Hutu and the, uh, the Tusi came in. Now, the population of these people is reducing in size. Reason being that they are getting intermarried with other tribes like the Tusi and the Hutu, just like the Pygmies in Central Africa. Also, their population is reducing because they are getting intermarried with other tribes. Okay, let's also look at now the northern part of Africa. Remember, we talked of the the Babas and the Turks. Now, the northern part of Africa, now we are looking at the Arabs. This is a group also that lives in Africa. But we say these people originally came from Asia. Asia, specifically countries like Saudi Arabia, countries like Persia, countries like Jordan. And this, these are people who came to Africa mainly with the purpose of trade, but others of course came running away from religious wars, while others were coming to spread Islam. But the main purpose why many of them came was to carry out trade. And that's why you see that when the Arabs came, also slave trade started. So when we talk of the Arabs, these people mainly occupy the northern part of Africa northern parts of Africa. So when you look at countries in the northern part of Africa, countries like Libya, countries like Egypt, because they may ask you to identify some of the countries in the north of Africa that would occupy by the Arabs. We talk of countries like Morocco. Now the question comes, before the coming of the Arabs, who were the original people who lived in these areas? So we talked of the Babas. These are the people who originally lived here and then also we talk of the Turex. These are the two groups. This group, these tribes are still there. But of course they have got intermarried with the Arabs. But they are still there and they still live that life of nomadic pastoralism. The, the Babas and the Turex. They are the original people who live in the northern part of Africa. And currently they are still there. Now, the Babas basically are pastors. These are pastor groups of people. They still, of course, keep that on a small scale, especially around the oasis. Oasis, is, we say this is the place in the desert where we can get water. I said, once you put E, then that's the plural form. But if you want to put it in a singular form, you change E to I. Then that one becomes 
the singular form of oasis. So that is about now. Basically, we have looked at three, four groups. We have looked at the Kushes, whom we have said originated from the Horn of Africa, and then we are saying that the Kushes can also be called the Hamites. Now, these are basically pastoral groups of people, and we are saying that in Uganda we have tribes like the Bahima, who are basically cattle keepers. They are, they are locally known as the Balalo. We have thought of the Tusi in Rwanda. Don't confuse the Tusi with the Hutu. Hutu are Bantu, Tusi are Hamais. Then we talk of the Boran. The Boran are in Kenya, the Gala and the Somali. Then we talk of the Oromo. In Ethiopia also we have another group. They are called Oromo. This is also a group under the Kushites. Then we have talked of the Samas whom we said have the mixed blood of the Arabs, Africans and the Jews. And in Uganda we gave an example of the Nubians. If you want to find the Nubians in Uganda, you can go to Bombo. It is said that they were brought by President Idi Amin. Some people say it belonged to them. Then we have the Hausas of Nigeria. They are also another person. So when they ask you to give an example of a tribe under the, the Samites who are in West Africa, we have the Hausa. Then the occupation is basically cattle keeping, which is pastoralism. Now, last, we have also talked of the, the coincidence, and we say under the coincidence, we have the Koikoi and the Sun. The Sun are commonly known as the Bush name if you go to the Kalahari Desert. What made them to move into this desert was the effect of the Great Trek, which was the massive movement of the Dutch from the coast of Cape Town into the interior. Then there are many pastoral groups of people who live by hunting, gathering fruits. And lastly, we have looked at the Arabs, and we said these people came from Saudi Arabia. They occupied the northern part of Africa in countries like Libya, Egypt, Morocco, and originally we had the Babas. The Turks, those are the original people who live there. Okay, thank you for being a good audience. Bye for now.